Personally, I know many priests who have been canceled, but not for the reasons you'd think. I mean, it's not like they did a hit and run drive and left the scene of the crime or embezzled church funds, stole the altar wine or committed some other heinous crime. No, not at all. And who's persecuting them? Well, their own bishops. How's that? Yep. Who are they? Well, they're a pack of men who generally passively sit by and tolerate any kind of nonsense, but if one of their priests utters something that resembles orthodoxy, well, then they, they spring into action, they reprimand him, and they bully him and do their best to cancel him. And it's a symptom of a very deep sickness that afflicts the church. If anyone's familiar with the missives of Archbishop Vigano, he says that the erosion of the church were sown at with the reforms of Vatican II, and I agree with him. And how are we supposed to know the good guys from the bad guys? Well, we were given a standard by which to judge them, by their fruits, you'll know them. Anybody seen any good fruit lately? 